Today is Monday. Over the weekend, something very traumatic happened in the Middle East, and we'll get into that. But first, a word from our trusted sponsor. Hey folks, investing feels overwhelming right now, doesn't it? So complicated, so many decisions, but leaving your money in the bank mm, might not be the best thing to do. It's losing value every single day. All we need to do is look at the inflation index to see uh, the reality of that. So if it's stressing you out and driving you nuts, why not invest smarter with Noble Gold Investments? Precious metals are simple and real. There was a company on the stock market that was around 2,000 years ago, but guess what? Gold was, it's always been there through wars, disasters, and turmoil. Reliable, dependable, and authentic. That's why you can't go wrong with precious metals. They've always had your back. Noble Gold Investments America-based experts will show you how to set and forget your IRA or 401k. <clears throat> You'll get a dedicated professional assigned to you. No hassle, no call centers. This month, Noble Gold Investments is giving a free quarter ounce gold standard coin with every qualifying IRA investment. Visit noblegoldinvestments.com to claim your gold coin. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Folks, we invested a couple of years ago, and I got to tell you, I am really glad that we did. Gold is going through the roof. Once again, that's noblegoldinvestments.com. Before I get into today's, uh, into today's message, I just want to thank uh, Pastor Greg up in Guthrie. It was a great conference. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, well attended. Hats off to Mondo and Pete Garcia and, and of course, our, our good friend Lee Brainerd. It was just great to hang out with these guys. And uh, while we were speaking on Saturday, Iran launched the missiles and the drones. So here's what I want to drill into. And no one ever talks about this, okay? And this is a quote that the Holy Spirit gave me years ago when I was writing Politics, Prophecy, and the Supernatural. Here's the quote. And it came from the Lord. I'll never forget it. I was writing this book. It was my first nonfiction book. I had just finished up the Nephilim trilogy. And so um, I'm, I'm working on the chapters, and all of a sudden the Lord just just gives me this, this incredible quote. It's, it's, and I've never heard anyone really talk about it like this. And that quote is this. The current political landscape is in direct correlation to supernatural events that happened in some cases millennia ago. I'll say it again because it's a mouthful. And I remember when the Lord gave this to me, I immediately stopped what I was doing, just started typing it in. And, and, and I, my jaw was on the ground. The current political landscape is in direct correlation to supernatural events that happened in some cases millennia ago. Let's walk through it. In Israel, it's now it's a secular state, I get that, but it's based on Israel, the Jews that are there. The reason why the whole Jewish religion exists is because of supernatural events that happened millennia ago, thousands of years ago. Moses receiving the Ten Commandments, the prophets, the law, all the prophecies that we see in the, in the biblical prophetic narrative, they happened thousands of years ago. That, those specific supernatural events have colored the body politic in Israel. Conversely, thousands of miles away, or 1,200 miles away, in Iran, a different set of supernatural events occurred about 1,300 years ago with the Prophet Muhammad. I'm not going to sit here and weigh and talk about each one. I'm not going to do that. But that supernatural event with Muhammad is what we're looking at today. A different set of supernatural events have colored the body politic in Iran. And what we see is this unbelievable tension between the two. Folks, it's not going to go away. Um, today is Monday, as I said. I think we're going to see some sort of retaliation from Israel. I hope not. I wish this whole thing will, will somehow calm down. But here's what I want you to understand. In the guidebook of a supernatural, which I call, which is the Bible, in the guidebook of a supernatural, there are prophecies. One of those prophecies, and I tip my hat to my good friend Bill Salas. Bill Salas has been talking about this for a long time. Look up Jeremiah 49. Look up Jeremiah 49 and read down towards the end. Because Elam is present day Iran. If Iran gets a nuclear warhead, 
with a delivery system. In my opinion, they will use it against Israel. So what we're looking at is a very existential threat to the tiny nation of Israel. And it's just amazing. The vitriol, the hate stems from two different supernatural events which have colored the body politic. That's a big mouthful. Folks, I'll, in fact, I will say, I will just end by saying this, that um, pray for the peace of Jerusalem, pray for the peace uh, in Iran, pray that cooler heads would prevail. However, I will say this, what was written will come to pass. What was foretold is unfolding right in front of us. And that, of course, is the biblical prophetic narrative. I will be in Florida um, and towards the end of April. I'll be speaking on Friday night and Saturday. Go to the website, lamarzulli.net, and you can avail yourself of, of tickets or how much. I think it's open to the public. I think it's free. Last time we were there on Friday night, I think they had close to 700 people, between six and 700 people. The place was packed. Uh, I'll be speaking um, on Friday night, of course, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon. No repeats from last year, all new material. I will more than likely open up with the Days of Chaos on Friday night, and then Saturday morning go into the Roswell um, events, cattle mutilations, and then the Ladder of Disclosure, the rungs on the Ladder of Disclosure. Thanks so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, if you're not a Patreon member, you can check that out too. Please go to the website. There are 30 films. Actually, the last two are about to be released soon. So thanks so much for watching. LAMarzulli.net, LAMarzulli.com. And um, there's all sorts of information there. So we'll see you again tomorrow right here on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Hey folks, I have a special announcement. We just opened up a new website. It's called roswellrevisited.com, roswellrevisited.com. I want to thank Chauncey Green for getting that set up for it. Please go there and check it out. We've got a deal for you. We really do. Both of these incredible DVDs. This is real investigative journalism, roswellrevisited.com. Go check it out now. And we've got a special deal for both of these two DVDs. And I think you'll find it interesting. By the way, when you guys buy the DVDs from us or watch on, on our streaming station, you help keep the lights on here and keep us moving the ball further down the court. UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away. RoswellRevisited.com, RoswellRevisited.com. And before I go, I want to give a shout out to Gil Zimmerman because Gil and I worked on this film and I think it's the best two films we've ever created in, in our entire uh, time together and, and in the entire UFO film series. Nine and Ten will be coming out very shortly. More about that soon. Meantime, RoswellRevisited.com. Thanks so much.